Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to create custom Spotify playlist art and the design that I'm going to be doing or showing you is actually inspired by actual Spotify playlists. So here is the playlist art that I've created for a shower playlist and then here is the one that it's inspired by, the Daily Lift playlist by Spotify themselves. And I'm actually going to be creating this document in Photoshop, but you can do very similar things to what I'm doing in a program like Canva or PicMonkey, anything like that. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is searching for an image to use in the background of my playlist. And I'm going to be using a website called pexels.com. These are free stock photos you can use for anything. And since I'm going to be creating art for my movie TV soundtracks playlist, I will go ahead and try to find something movie related on pexels.com. I like this first photo right here, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. And then I'm going to go into Photoshop and create a new document, and your art has to be 640 by 640 pixels. I'm going to name it Movie Soundtrack Playlist Art. Now we have our blank layer to work with. I'm going to go ahead and find my image and open it. And then usually what I do, there may be a different method for this, but usually what I do is I duplicate the layer and send it over to my blank Photoshop document. So now it's here and it's obviously way too big so I'm going to resize it really quickly. Okay, so now our image is resized and since I'm going to be editing the photo first, turning it into uh, black and white, kind of like the Spotify playlist photos typically are, so so I can go back and forth between my edits, I'm going to duplicate the transformed photo, make this our black and white layer, and then I'm going to start playing around with it and making it monochrome, so I'm going to go to adjustments black and white. There's a ton of different ways to make photos black and white in Photoshop, but this is what I like to do. And then I'll play around with the different settings until I get something that I like. All right, I am satisfied with that. And then I've got my previous Photoshop file over here, so you can kind of see what I'm working with here. So the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is start adding these shapes, similar to what's going on here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select the shape that I wanna use. For this one, I'm just gonna use rectangles. So I'll start with one maybe right here, make it a little bit smaller. So now I've got that rectangle, and our foreground color is this red color here. And then we're gonna to go to layer mask down here so we can actually directly edit that layer. And then we're gonna go over to the tools section and hit the gradient tool. You can either hit G on your keyboard and it'll select it or if the gradient isn't already up, you can just hold down that button and then switch it from paint bucket or 3D material drop over to gradient. And then what we're gonna do is draw our gradient over our shape so that it looks something like that. And to get this specific effect, we're gonna make sure that foreground to transparent is selected over foreground to background or any of these other settings. And now we can kind of move that shape around and now that we've got that, I'm just going to duplicate the shape a couple of times to get the kind of repeated effect that I want all over this image. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with another shape. This time I'm going to try a polygon. Uh, let's do a five-sided polygon and make sure that it is not a star. It's just going to be a pentagon in this case. So there's our pentagon, change the foreground color, and then go through the same kind of process, layer mask, gradient, and make sure we're on foreground to transparent. And I'll be duplicating these shapes as well. As you can see, I decided to change the color to just a deeper red. All right, so that is our base design. The final thing we need to do is add text. Uh, in the Spotify playlist, they have, so on Spotify, they have this text going on, and I don't know exactly what font this is, but I'm going to do something very similar, just using another basic sans serif font, like I did in the shower playlist.
So I'm just gonna be using this gray font in Helvetica New, medium. Actually, I think we can go a little lighter and it'll still look okay. And then we can go ahead and add a drop shadow for some depth. And then I'm gonna go ahead and export and make sure that it is a JPEG, because that's what Spotify wants, 640 by 640, and I don't mess with any of the other settings. So now it is saved on my computer. I will go back over to Spotify, find my playlist, click on the playlist default image, go to choose image and find my file. So here's my file and I can remove the image or replace it with another one. And if I remove the image, it'll just go back to the um, default collage I was there before and then I will save and there is my image. That's all for this tutorial. Let me know if there are any other design tutorials you would like to see on this channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or concerns in the section below. And I hope you all have a wonderful week or weekend.